obviously our main attraction right here, which is the infamous Black Mamba. So this is the longest venomous snake that we typically tend to find within Namibia. So these snakes can grow up to four and a half meters, historical records have shown. However, in recent years, the biggest one that was ever caught was roughly about 3.8 meters long. Now this snake is found throughout most of northern Namibia. They extend down to central parts of the country as well. And they are found in patches of, uh, of southern Namibia um, as well. So these snakes are surrounded by quite a few myths and legends, you know. Many people believe that black mambas typically tend to be super aggressive, you know. They tend to believe that mambas will chase you down and that a black mamba will typically tend to bite you as soon as it sees you um, or that it will sit up in a tree and will basically take out 50 heads of cattle, which is absolute nonsense. Um, these snakes um, are actually very shy and they will tend to avoid confrontation um, at any given time. So mambas are very quick to move off as soon as they sense danger. Either they will go down into a burrow or they will slither up into a tree. They're not going to come towards you more specifically to bite you. You know, many of the bites occur when people typically tend to accidentally step on them or when they push them into a corner or when they get too close is when these snakes have a reaction. But it's exactly the same if I'm going to walk up to any any strange person in the street and suddenly push him, he's going to fight back, you know. So it's not like this snake wants to bite you, it, it has no need to bite you, you know, it doesn't want to waste that time and energy if you're going just going to leave it alone. But if you're going to provoke it, obviously things are going to change. It's just basically to, uh, to release this gorgeous um, 1.6 meter or 2.6 meter black bomber rather back into the bush. And obviously we don't want our hands anywhere near near the edge pretty much. So just need to watch where he's going to go out. So there we go. Safe release. Um, was rather anticlimactic, but uh, you know, nonetheless, you never want to take chances when, uh, when you're more specifically working with dangerous snakes.